Hey boys and girls, welcome back to Danganronpa Goodbye Despair. In the last one, we finished up chapter one of the game. We are now two chapters in, technically. So, in the last one, we figured out that Teru Teru had killed Byakuya, but on complete accident. But, it still counts. An accident or not, it still counts as a murder, and it still adds into an execution. So, we are left with 14 students. Let's find out how our happy little vacation will start in Chapter 2. Time, humans have been taught that if you try hard enough, you can accomplish anything. Is that Nagito talking? Even if we weren't told this directly, you'd know it just by looking at the world around us. I guess. Depending on the last game. You're overflowing with hopeful messages that say exactly that. Okay. But people who can't win, people who don't try to win, people who try their best and still can't win, they are all what do you mean? worthless trash. But didn't you call yourself trash? I'm confused. There's two kinds of people in this world. Those who are born with worth and everybody else. Okay. No matter how hard a lowly human tries, they will never be the same as someone who was born worthy. I guess. They say that effort breeds success, but that's a complete lie. The world is not that accommodating. No matter how hmm. hard a small dog tries, it will never become a large dog. But what about the underdog? No how much a penguin tries, there's no way it will ever soar through the sky. Nah, man, have you ever heard of flying penguins? <laughs> Unworthy humans will never become worthy, no matter what they do. No, they can. Talent don't become talented. They're just born with their abilities right from the start. Nah, that's not true. That's right. Just like you guys. That's why I have so much respect for you all. Uh, just hmm. so you know, what I feel is different from admiration. Okay. Admiration is... Wishing you could be like the object of your admiration. Or Why would you not want to be absurd. like that? How should I put it? What I feel is more pure. More like a selfless love that wants nothing in return. So how is that I selfless love if you tried to kill it, one of us? I don't mind if you kill me. But if that happens, I want you to let me help. I don't care huh. if the killer survives. I still don't understand his motive. The killer survives. I just want both sides to do their very best. I want to okay. see with my own two eyes the absolute hope that lies ahead. Yep, I'm really lucky. Someone as insignificant hmm. as me will be there when hope and despair collide and unleash their energy. I, I, I guess. So please, let me help you. No. If you're planning to kill me. I would be honored to help you carry out your plan. Huh. I want you to use me as a stepping stone so everyone can shine. If anyone kills him off, they're stupid. In a way that I'm just gonna say that now. Oh, shut up. Someone bashed him right in the face. Thank you. Chapter 2. Sea and Punishment, Sin and Coconuts. Daily life. Also, Nagito is freaking insane. <laughs> Byakuya and Teru Teru died just last night. An ordeal like that doesn't change the fact that I still get hungry. I learned that this firsthand as I headed towards the hotel restaurant with dreary and sullen footsteps. So we're not going to talk about what happened last night where you thought you were being watched? I guess not. Ah, oh, Hishime. You're already here. Good morning. Yo. Good morning. Just as I found the atmosphere in the restaurant is pretty gloomy. But after what happened yesterday, that's to be expected. Yeah, it is. Byakuya, who appointed himself at our leader, was killed and the person who killed him was our friend. And that friend was also killed right in front of us. Yeah, he got turned into deep fried Teru Teru. <laughs> After experiencing something like that, it's impossible not to feel sad. Huh? Huh? You guys don't look so good. 
Your faces all look like you just attended two funerals in a row. I guess some people don't feel sad, so sad. That's like what happened. Byakuya and Teru Teru got killed. I'm not talking to you, you ugly bitch. Why are you always so mean to me? Still, I understand about Mr. Ham Hands, but is there even a reason for us to be sad about Teru Teru's death? What the heck do you mean? Why? Well, he was crazy guy who killed someone. He totally deserved to die. Hey. I understand how you feel, but you're going too far. That's weird. Huh? Is it all right to defend a killer? Are you trying to justify murder? No. No. That was not my intention, but... Hey. Then you gotta hate him more than ever. You gotta hate him from the bottom of your heart. He's a stupid piece of trash bastard who committed the lowest crime possible. He deserved to get killed. In fact, I'm rather relieved he was executed. If I could have, I would have totally spat on him too. Hmm. Dang. Jeez. Hey, what gives? Does a pea brain like you have something to complain about? It's not like that. Well, it's not about that, but... Something smells, don't you think? Huh? Uh, again? It can't be. Don't tell me. It better not be another dead body. Hmm. Nah, it's not the smell of blood this time. It just smells really bad. Smells bad? Um. It's kind of like how a bar or nightclub smells after closing time, you see. Hey, hey, hey. I don't know those smells. You must have, must have had a pretty rough life. I do smell something. It's like a sewer rotting garbage. I got it! Yeah, I know what it is. It's Nakumaru's breath. It probably stinks. <laughs> You've got me there. She didn't say anything remotely funny just now. No, it's not Nakumaru. The smell is coming from you, Ayoko. Huh? Oh, it's true, Hiyoko, you reek. What did you do to me? A rotten smell stings my eyes. As if a demonic eclipse, eclipse is about to commence. Oof. <laughs> you deserve that. Oh, my, my. oh, she's crying. Hey. I've said it before, you guys are really insensitive. That was close. Ah, no. It actually doesn't smell that bad, I mean... As long as I breathe with my mouth. <laughs> she deserves this, honestly. Are you even taking baths? Probably not. No. You haven't bathed? I can't help it. I can't tie my kimono sash by myself. Okay, then. Hey, Yoko. You don't have to cry so much. I'll tie your sash for you, okay? Really? I can only tie a simple knot, but if that's okay with you, I can teach you. I love you, Mihiru. I'll give you a kiss. Hey, Hiyoko, you don't have to hug me. It appears you cannot <laughs> she appears to have taken a liking to you. <laughs> Welcome to the world of girl love. It's slippery when wet. Oh god, I don't want to know that at all. Thanks, game. The air is suddenly not so tense anymore. Well, I guess it's better than being down forever. If I was all by myself, I probably wouldn't have been able to put my feelings aside and move on like this. I guess I have these guys to thank. Um, anyway, what happened to Hiko and Nagito? It seems they are both not here. Ah, now that you mention it, you're right. I saw Hiko earlier, near the hotel. I invited him to breakfast, but he declined. Well, that's just Hiko being Hiko, but... Who cares about Nagito? <laughs> he is cursed. A child who summons misfortune, so to speak. Well, that may be, but... Just letting you know, I don't know anything. Without hesitation, I don't know anything about Nagito at all. That's right. 
He's right. Forget him. Let's just forget about that creep already. They're obviously catching acting suspicious, aren't they? I'm not suspicious. <laughs> That's right, I'm not suspicious. What's, the matter? What's up? Did someone get kidnapped or something? You came at just at the right time. Hmm. hmm. At the right time? No, it's nothing. I don't really get it, but you must have yearned for me. Your outlook on life has changed due to my cuteness. So your body can't stand to live without me, huh? I can't help myself, you know. My body reacts to Monokuma on its own. No. Something like that. Stupid. Who cares about that? Just hurry up and tell us what, why you're here. Actually. To be honest, I'm searching too. My valued servant has disappeared. Servant? What the hell? You know, my mono beast. One of them just disappeared. Huh. One of the mono beasts disappeared? Maybe I cut back on the cost of their food too much. Perhaps they're boycotting me. Let me tell you but that guy is the weakest of the Legion of Four. How shameful for a mono beast to lose to a mere human. <laughs> That's what you want to say, right? Yeah. Hmm. Nature. Thought this is merely the prelude. The climax will occur soon after. The now then, let me hear you, your scream. I shall make such sweet music for you. I think he's making him mad. Hey, Gundam, you should stop playing with that stuffed animal. I'm still being ca being called a stuffed animal. Oh well, it looks like you guys don't know anything about my mono beast either. Then it's a waste of time for me to worry about it. I don't want to go bald from worrying too much. Okay. A wise cat boat bot once said, our eyes are on the front, so we can keep moving forward. As Monokuma said those familiar sounding words to us, once again he disappeared. Hey, what do you think he meant just now? He said something about a mono beast disappearing. Hmm, hmm. the only possibility I can think is... Um, um were, you, were you in the middle of something? If so, I can just come back later then leave. Yeah. At least ask me to leave kindly. Hey, hey. Oh, before you leave, I want to ask you something. Did you have anything to do with the disappearing mono beast? Ah, yes! That's right. Ta-da! Ta -da. I'm the one who defeated that mono beast. You did? You serious? Defeating a monster like that? How the hell did someone like you pull that off? I'll talk about it that in more detail in a different mode. Anyway, I've released the bridge gate for you all. Hey, hey. If the gate is open, that means we can go to the new island across the bridge, right? Is that true? Ahem, that's totally right. Now that you can, you all can go to more areas. So let's all get along and live a fun life together. So for sure this time. Love, love. <laughs> Living together on this island isn't what's important. We need to find a way to escape. Please. Of course, escaping from this island is our main goal. Huh? huh? Nobody wants to live in a swashbuckling Hollywood type action film. I want to life, live a life where I can be more average. A life where nothing happens. That's better for me. Alright, if you find anything that can be salvaged for boat parts, so let me know immediately. Um, it seems that everyone united on a part path that's different from what I had planned. Now then, let's <laughs> then let's disperse. The time has come to release the cursed seal. Alright, right, let's find a way to leave this island. <laughs> that's impossible. Hmm? Leaving the island is no longer possible. No longer possible? Hey, what does that mean? Ah. Uh. Hey, hey. Hey, Ajime. Just leave that thing alone already. After all, she's the same as Monokuma. It's better if you don't get that close to her. You're right. 
It seems everyone's attention has shifted toward exploring the new island. Expecting to find something that will help us escape this situation, everyone filed out of the restaurant. Also, if you're wondering what they're talking about, the mono beasts disappearing and that being a different mode, there's a completely different mode where, uh, if I think I can pull it up actually. Probably not, no. Yeah, it's on the front page. But it's called, um, Magical Girl Monomy or something like that. And you fight, um, the Mono Beast in the mode. So I'm guessing that's something behind, I guess it is behind the scenes. As of how that said, or how that scene reacted, I should say. Let's see. So we're going to the new island, I might as well just teleport. Uh, outside. I should probably just go to Jabberwock Island's front section and then just go right because that should take me to. Yep, here we go. Island number two. Let's go there. She's right. The mono beast that was blocking this bridge is gone. Plus, the gate that was blocking the bridge is now open. I guess Monami was right after all. What lies beyond this bridge? Alright, I guess I should find out. Hmm. So this is, this is a island. weird looking island. Yeah, it is. The ambiance seems different compared to the first island with the hotel. Yeah, it's completely different. It's odd. Well, now's not the time for me to make carefree observations. There might be a clue here that tells us how to leave this island. I need to find it. Okay. Central Island. Okay. I should probably check on my, uh, my pet. Make sure it doesn't die. <laughs> Denies 20 MT. Oh, I mean, Kampo Piyoko, 50 MT. And uh, I don't even know what the other one is. Ancient Ruins. Okay, let's check that out first, I guess. Weird. Or, oh, nope, it's just called runes. Huh. What is this enormous building? It has the ambiance of a, of an ancient ruin, but its shape doesn't resemble a ruin. Oh, she fell asleep. Hey, Shiaki. Ah, oh, sorry, I was dozing for a bit. You don't look like you were dozing. You look like you were completely asleep while standing up. Anyway, what's the this huge building? It looks like some sort of ruins or historical landmark. Ancient ruins. That's what you think too. But it's not just a typical ancient ruin. Don't you think? I don't know how to say it clearly, but... Yep. Yeah, it's a mysterious building. It feels like a special place. A special place. I'll check around here a bit more. So you can go somewhere else. Mm -hmm. Come on, just go somewhere else. Is she trying to make me go away? She probably wants to be alone so she can sleep without being interrupted. I get it, but you better not sleep. Let me know if you discover anything. Yep. Yeah, leave it to me. Hmm. Gee, she's completely doing her own thing. But her smile is so innocent. That's even more annoying to deal with. Tch. <laughs> Yeah, I'm forced, completely forced out of the area. Jeez. I probably should walk because it gives me that level quicker. Just want to get to that level 26. There we go. Library. Oh, Biakuya would have loved this place. I wonder if it's got an archive like the last game. Probably does. It's got its own form of one. Wow, that's an impressive amount of books. It's probably a library, but nevertheless, it looks pretty overwhelming. Destroyed statue. The bronze statue of, of Monami. I mean, Usami, before she got redesigned. Looks like it broke when it got dropped. Getting treated like a nuisance, even as a statue. That's pretty sad. I'm guessing that's a Monokuma one. The bronze statue of Monami. I mean, Usami, before she got redesigned. Uh, same thing. There's a Monokuma bronze statue. I should probably look at that. 
This is a bronze statue of Monokuma. It looks ir so arrogant. What a lame taste. Hmm. <laughs> so many of them. Oh, there's a Monokuma plush up here. Yep. Cool. I have so many coins now. Uh, Peko Peko Yama. What you got? This is a huge library, but there are no other human beings to be found here at all. Just as I thought, it might be safe to assume this island is also an uninhabited. I'm pretty sure all these islands are going to be uninhabited. Surprise. I'm a little bit surprised. I never expected to find such a splendid facility. It riv rivals even my homeland's national library. But isn't it strange? I mean, doesn't a resort really need a library like this? I am concerned. That is very true. And just as expected, nobody is here either. You're right. The fact that we're the only humans around here is even more strange. Ta-da! Monami is here. I'm reading a book. <laughs> uh, ah, since you've come here, would you like me to explain this library to you? I see. It's clear from your face I'm a nuisance. Since I was more energetic than usual, I feel even emptier now. Hmm. And what about your explanation? Well, you're all basically students, right? I was thinking you needed a place where you can do homework. So I have prepared this library. Prepared? You. Hee <laughs> hee. Everyone can get along and study together. It's a student's duty to study. Don't act like a teacher. I am a teacher. Hmm. You're even more confusing than Monokuma. So what's your real identity? What's your purpose? Real identity? Now that's silly. Goodbye. Running away as soon as things get inconvenient. That's even more suspicious. I can't believe that she is the only one who prepared this grand facility. Yeah, she's probably lying. I see. I see. According to this island's guidebook, many of their guests are wealthy and stay for two weeks at a time. Which means? These are all probably things they, they, that they donated. Hold on, did you say this island's guidebook? I found it in the, this library. Would you like to take a look? What language is this? I have no clue. She pr she can read it. Then I shall read it on your behalf. You can read it, Sonia? Mm-hmm. I'm fluent in 30 different languages. It is a requirement for members of the royal family. 30 languages. Does a royal family have a limit? Jabberwock Island is a small island in the Pacific Ocean. Known for being a paradise of eternal summer. That is what it says. This is exactly what Biakuya told us before. Chabberwock Island consists of small central island surrounded by five other islands. The outer islands were developed as resorts while the central island houses a large administrative building. Huh. Or, oh, that was her saying, huh? That is strange. I mean, the central island is Jabberwock Island. There was no sign of any buildings at all. The only things there were Monokuma Rock and the park. Um. Also, according to this guidebook, it says there's a bronze statue in the lobby of the, that building, which symbolizes the island. Huh. Isn't that... Yeah, the big statue there. Are you talking about that bronze statue that turned into a mon the Mono Beast? But that statue was in the middle of the park, not in the lobby of some building. Please wait. That is not all. There is an another description that strikes me as strange. According to this guidebook, the only way to travel between the five islands is by boat. Huh? While some people won bridges, critics worried about their effect on the environment, so no one, none were built. What does that mean? Then what are we using to move between the islands? There's a possibility that this place is an artificial island, like Palm 
Jum Jumer Jumeria? I'm not even gonna try saying that in a voice. Palm Jumeri Jermari. I don't even know how to say that. Artificial island. Palm is a huge artificial island and tourist site located in Persian Gulf. Similarly, this island might be an artificial island designed to look like Jabberwock Island. That especially might be why we are the only ones on this island. Just kidding. Well, something like that would be impossible anyway. No islands of this size could be completely artificial. This guidebook must be old, too. It contradicts everything about the island's current situation. My, my. You're very intuitive. To assume this is an artificial island. Now you're here? Hey. However, those guys are the only ones who could do something on such a massive scale. Those guys? Hmm. The hint is, you know the enormous organization you guys were talking about er before? Hmm. hmm. It's true, those guys totally deserve to be called a horrible group of people. Who are you talking about? Oops, that was a slip of the tongue. I should excuse myself before it leaks in onto the internet. Hey, hold on a second. But before my voice could reach him, Monokuma disappeared as usual. It cannot be. Could it be? This island is completely artificial. There's no way that's true. There's no way. That guidebook is probably just old. You are right. Hmm. That's right. That's obviously what it is. He just he's just saying strange things just to confuse us. Damn it. There's no way I'll fall for that. Hmm. Doesn't look like there's anything else here, so I'm guessing we can leave. Okay, I'm gonna s Oh, before I go somewhere else, I should look around for a bit longer. Surveillance camera, maybe? It's one of those ominous surveillance cameras. So someone must be monitoring, monitoring us. There's no way they're watching us for our safety. Was that it? Mm, monitor, maybe? One of the monitors Monokuma uses to contact us. Nothing on the screen right now. The only one who uses us is Monokuma. I don't think Monami can use it. Mm, probably so. Uh, I should probably look at the bookshelf, maybe. Hmm, what language are these books written in? French? Italian? I don't even know. I see. Hmm, I see. such an interesting description. What are you reading? Are those political books? Or maybe some kind of philosophy? They're the newest issue of Occult Magazine. It breaks the lid of off underground mysteries and the wonders of the world. That's quite a surprise. It, it's not like I read it often. I'm just reading it because it's a special article about serial killers. That's not a good excuse at all. However, it seems this writer has very good taste. I mean, even Genocide Jack is mentioned in the article. Hmm. That Genocide Jack or whatever. I feel like I've heard that about her before. Genocide Jack is allegedly Japanese serial killer who has a reputation even among casual internet users. She is very popular among youths and is known for writing messages in blood at the scene of the crime. Wow. Apparently, she is a high school, and is a high school or middle school student who wears a sailor uniform. Be careful, Hajime. Do you know how many high school and middle school girls wear sailor uniforms these days? Ah, this is a particular favorite of mine. Sparkling justice is a regular subject of these kinds of exclusive articles. I shall explain it to you just in case. Sparkling justice is a serial killer who calls himself the ally of justice. Wearing a wide variety of hero masks, sparkling justice is a delightful s serial killer who only, cr only kills criminals. Sonia, calm down. Thanks to the mask Sparkling Justice wears, nobody knows their real age or gender. After all, it's essential that the serial killers be mysterious. What an expert, yes. Hey, hey you two. 
I've been listening in for a while now, but why are you talking about mere murderers with such enthusiasm? I haven't done any talking. Please hold on. It's, it is a mistake to refer to these people as mere murderers. Coming in contact with a value system that differs from your own is very important matter. Serial killers, they, their value system is very different than the norm. What a marvelous existence. Huh. I am totes intrigued. Is this kind of like a young lady crushing on a total bad boy type of situation? Regardless, it's clearly different from from a princess who's obsessed with serial killers. <laughs> so, they brought up Genocide Jack slash Toko. So, this does take place in that universe. But, hmm, what happened to Biakuya, though? That's very strange. So, to Toku's gotta still be alive, then, if that's the case. Hmm. Pharmacy, drug, and company. Oh, only her, only she's in here. Hey, Makan. Squee, what's what's with you? Uh, I'm sorry. I got so excited I started shouting. Niu, I was so happy that someone talked to me. Before people either hated me or was were grossed out by me. Those are such sad choices. More importantly, is this a drugstore? It looks pretty suspicious. But it looks like there's no one here either. Um, with all these medical supplies, I'm pretty sure we can handle most illnesses or injuries. Huh. If you don't feel, feel well, let me know. I'll give you lots of shots. Lots and lots of shots. That sounds dangerous. When it comes to shots, I should definitely decline. Huh. Okay. Medicine. These shelves are crammed with a lot of stuff that looks like medicine. I like the medicines I'm used to seeing. These ones look way more potent. Hmm. Anything special in this place? Is that it? I guess so. Hmm pretty useless area for the time being diner the front of a diner so there's a back of the diner apparently pork burger is that what it's called burger pork what's the name for this place I don't know they just I'm guessing it really is called pork burger Okay then. The signboard says diner. I guess I should try going inside. Hmm. Okay. Oh, I got a jukebox. Cool. Root PSP 49. PlayStation port Portable. <laughs> That's funny. Uh-huh. That looks like... Oh, Hiko. Oh, it's you. I'm trying to eat right now. Go away, dumbass. Hiko suddenly started yelling at me as he held a hamburger in one hand. Wait, hold on, why is he here? He wasn't at the restaurant, why does he know about the new island? Hey Hiko, you want to talk at least? Hey, why are you here? How'd you find out we can go to this island? Are you a monkey or something? Do you not understand human language? I told you to leave me alone when I'm eating. Jeez. Oof. An annoying person went out of their way to tell me. An annoying person? Then I found this place and now I'm eating here because I'm hungry. Mystery solved. You happy now? No, get the so get the fuck out of my out of here and go somewhere else. Hey, about that annoying per person. Huh? Mind your own business. It's got nothing to do with you. Actually, it does have to do with me. I don't know what you're thinking, but we're all in this situation together. You're not the only one who's stuck on this island. We all have to work together. You should know that by now, too, so... Why are you avoiding us? Oof. <laughs> I'm not avoiding you bastards. I've just decided not to rely on anyone. Not to rely on anyone? That includes the Kiziru clan. I can still survive without relying on them. 
Huh? Hey, are you actually... Don't, don't get it twisted. I'm a Yakuza by blood. It's not like I don't want to be... Want to be the head of the family business someday. I just want to prove I've earned it. Prove I can tough it out on my own without relying on my clan. Plus, even if I fail, the clan will still be around. My little sister would be happy to lead it. Oh, you have a little sister? Shut the hell up! Shut up! Why... Why'd you let me bring that up anyway? You brought that up yourself. Anyway. anyway, I don't intend to spend any time with you guys. Nothing good can come of it. Nothing good can come of it. <laughs> Isn't it obvious? In this kind of situation, interacting with others will just shorten your lifespan. Those idiots Byakuya and Teru Teru are proof of that. Plus, it'd be, it'd be frustrating to be held back by affection when it's my time to kill. You're still saying that. Of course. Of course I'll sacrifice the lives of everyone here if I can guarantee my su survival. Even if you don't actually mean that, you're awful just for saying it. <laughs> you're the one who spoke to me without my permission, so don't get pissed at me. If you're so upset, you don't have to stick around Fuck off. Jeez. What the hell? It was stupid of me to talk to a guy like him. Also, I noticed that I couldn't talk to him during free time. I wonder why. If I'll ever be able to. Mmm, ice cream. Is that it in here? Yep. Just in case, I should probably look for a hidden Monokuma. Doesn't look like any are here, so let's leave. Okay, cool. How about the parking lot? Can I look around here? There's that. Diner, diner. I want to look at the billboard. The diner signboard is spinning. A spinning restaurant signboard on an uninhabited island is kind of freaky. Hmm. What can I click? Chandler's Beach. Oh, I can actually go this way. Uh, why is someone screaming? Uh, scream? That voice just now. Wasn't that Ibuki? Um, oh, only one place I can go. Beach house. Hey, Ibuki. What's going on? Why are you screaming? Uh... Oh, no, 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 no. Ibuki, are you alright? What happened? Emergency! This is bad. I'm panicking so much I don't even have time to space my words. What's going on? The killing the killing started again. Huh? Look over there. So I glanced over to the beach where Buki was pointing her finger. That doesn't count. <laughs> he's he's a teacher and she's a martial artist. I'm pretty sure they're just I'm going to go based on Sakura. I'm saying this is going to be our um, Hina and Sakura in this game. Your speed is adequate, but it's still not enough. Yep, I'm definitely right. What the heck is this? You're not using your muscles properly. Your athletic body is going to waste. Hmm. <laughs> okay. Shut up. All I gotta do is win. Uh, I don't think you're gonna win against Nekomaru. Win against me? <laughs> I like you, Nikamaru. You're funny. Oof. Well, he just won. Huh? Had enough. Have you learned your lesson? We're done he, he's done it. Nikamaru Nidai's ultimate move. Super body blow. That's instant death. If she's lucky, she'll live another five minutes at best. Jeez. Akane, at your current power level, you can't even defeat a mere team manager. What are you saying? Why are you guys fighting? Huh? huh. This isn't a fight. <laughs> it's a one-sided beatdown. That's even worse. The rules for the school trip clearly states excessive violence is prohibited. Trainer! What violence? This is not a real fight. We're training. But it looked like a real fight. Huh? huh. I'm just a team manager. 
There's no way I'd be able to fight for real. We both agreed to this training session. I'm not violating any rules at all. Even so, why the sudden interest in training? If I gotta admit it. Ah, she's alive! She's not a weakling who'd get killed by a weak blow like that. He looked pretty strong, so I couldn't help but get excited. I thought sparring with would help me burn off some of this energy, but I lost it. But I lost. More importantly, there's a lot a lot of strong dudes on in this world, huh? What a bunch of battle-loving troublemakers. Akane. It seems your type who loves who learns through actions rather than words. So I shall give you just one piece of advice. Now you use your body and muscles for your positioning and your timing. It's all half assed. You are not utilizing your ultimate gymnast talent well at all. Basics. Make sure you understand the bas basics. You'll always be second rate if you ha just rely on your instinct. You. Damn it, shut up. Then... If you understand what I just said, come and see me when that time comes. I will fight you once again. Don't forget. Huh. You better not forget what you said. My desire to win is pretty crazy. I won't give up steps. until I beat ya. With wobbling steps, Akane left the beach. If she fought that fiercely with if she fought that fiercely with just her own style, how ominous. My hands are still numb. That girl, that girl she She's get even oh. stronger. I didn't expect you to voice line that entire bit. Yeah, you're probably right. Oh, you guys are actually gonna read the lines for me. What kind of conversation is this? Yeah, no clue. Hey Nekomaru, anything? Oh. You too. Basics are the foundation for everything. No, I get that, but training that res that resembles an actual fight might be fun, but just be careful not to get hurt, hurt both of you. Impossible. Injuring an athlete would disgrace me as a team manager. How about you be? And you would be Buki. <laughs> the more you fight, the stronger you get. That's what being a battle lover is all about. What kind of conclusion is that? <laughs> Lol. Oh. Hidden Monokuma. Give. Huh? Are you serious? Yep. You were very obvious. To be completely honest. Beach house. I should probably go in here. Well, it's inside the beach house. Fun stuff, I hope. Oh. Hey, Soda. I thought this was a beach house since it's near the edge of the beach. It looks pretty luxurious. I guess it's a celebrity style beach house. Hey, Soda, what you got? Hey, doesn't this feel awesome like a celebrity's pad or something? The shower is out of order, but the ambiance is nice and the fridge is stocked with loads of drinks. <laughs> Plus the beach outside feels so private. It's awesome. Compared to urban seas, that are full of trash and debris. This place is completely different. We're the only ones on this island anyway, so anyway, where we go is a private beach. Hey, 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 hey. don't shatter my dreams like that. That's right. More importantly, why don't we splash around at this private beach? Awesome. Totally awesome. Splashing around at such a gorgeous beach is really the best. He's his usual happy-go-lucky self. Well, I guess that's one of his good qualities. Miss Sonia. Huh. I wonder if Miss Sonia would come, too. I want to see Miss Sonia in a bikini. <laughs> Lol. Whoa. It's here. Hey. Why not? Are you trying to interfere with my love affair with Miss Sonia? I won't Changing in the beach house is prohibited. It would be bad if, if shameful peeking occurred. Ah, so you mean changing here isn't allowed, not going to the beach itself. Then I'll ju just have to come here after changing. I'm never gonna give her up. You might let her down, though. Got it? Anyway, breaking the rules is not allowed. Also, playing is fine. But please focus on your studies, too. You guys? 
Where's where where's the rule breaker? I'll beat the crap out of them, no questions asked. He he's here. You what are you holding? A machine gun, obviously. Rule breakers will be shot to death. That's just common sense. Hey, hey, hey. It's common sense where? It's not like we're under a military di dictatorship. <laughs> Ugh, I want to shoot something. I know I'm not allowed to, but I really want to shoot something right now. C con control yourself. I have iron willpower, so I'll endure it. No matter the cost until the day someone breaks the rules. Um, as you can see, it's very dangerous, so please refrain from changing at the beach house. Wow, that was totally bizarre, man. They're annoying. Yeah, I feel very tired all of a sudden. <laughs> shower room. Yeah, they work in... Looks like this is the shower room. There's a notice on the door. Judging from the illustration, it looks like it's being repaired or under construction, something like that. Hmm. Roadside door. Refrigerator. There's a lot of drinks here. Like, water and coffee. But most of these drinks have colored dyes that might be bad for your health. Can we drink these for free? Probably. Mm, closet. Looks like this is a closet. Um, the inside is... Looks like a small storage room. It's almost like a walk-in closet. There's surfboards arranged on the shelf, but I'm not sure... Or I'm not into swim surfing, so it doesn't really matter to me. Is that it? Ah, uh, which rem reminds me. When we mentioned Nagito at the restaurant, Kazuichi looked pretty unsettled about something. I guess I should ask him about that. Yeah, what do you got, Soda? Ah, uh, which reminds me. I had something to ask you. Huh? What? Well, it's about Nagito. Uh... I haven't seen that guy all day. Do you know where he is? Well... I don't know. Seriously, don't ask me. Who cares about that crazy-ass bastard? We need to search this island first and foremost. There might be a way to escape. How so let's just end all annoying talk right here. That's it. All done. He ended this converse the conversation very forceful forcibly. Just as I thought. He's definitely hiding something. Oh, hey, Shiaki. Oh, it's you, Shiaki. What happened? Well, um, I'm letting everyone else know, too. But can you come to the ancient ruins on this island right away? You can, right? Right away. Okay, hurry up. Hmm. Based on her pushy tone, she might have found some kind of clue. Then I guess I should head over to the ancient ruins. Okay. I'm guessing we're getting close to the end of, uh... Searching the new island, then. What the heck is this? Such a gigantic building. However, However it's clearly faded. It looks like an ancient ruin. Well... It seems perhaps this is an actual ancient ruin. What's going on? How should I say this? Don't you think this building resembles a school? School? Now that you mention it, I don't know how, but I do see what she means. Wait, are you saying it looks like Hope's Peak? There might be a resemblance to Hope's Peak Academy. Well, there's a lot of similar looking buildings. It's just a coincidence that the ruins look similar. Hmm. It's a coincidence, right? Hmm. You found something, right, Shiaki? What did you find? Hey, bastard. I'll fucking cut you if this is a waste of time. <laughs> I don't know you... I don't know, you were also here. That bitch over there kept bugging me, so I finally came. <laughs> did you maybe find a way to get off this island? Nope. Nope, nothing like that. Aww. Aw, then who cares? I should have played in the bath with Mihiru more. Let me ask. Then what in the world did you find? Shiaki found something. I wonder what it is. I want to look at this again. Yeah, it really does look like Hope's Peak. Wait a minute. 
it it really is Hope's Peak. That door is very familiar. That's the door from the first game, isn't it? What? Oh, that's weird. Okay. Hey, Shiaki, what is it? Oh, hey, Shiaki, what did you find? If it's not a way off this island, does it have something to do with this island's secret? Mm, about that, I don't know. What do you mean, you don't know? It's like it doesn't belong with a... It doesn't belong with a building like this. I kept thinking about it and it felt feels unnatural. It's like a comic book originally about baseball becoming a side-scrolling action game. It's unnatural like that. There's... That's a little hard to understand. Look, look at that door over there. Door? Yeah, this. <laughs> Don't you notice it? That's definitely the first game's location. It's even got a machine gun on it. It looks exactly the same, too, as the other ones. Except it doesn't have a camera on it. It's hard to make it out from all the dust, but this is the door you mean, right? Right. Yeah, it looks like it's the door to the ruin. Hey. So, what's wrong with this door? Can you go inside? Before we attempt to go inside, let's try brushing off some of this dust and clearing some of this root things off the door. If you do, I'm pretty sure you'll understand what I mean by unnatural. For now. I don't really understand, but I guess we should try what she says. You're right. Just as Shiaki said, we brushed off the dust and cleared the roots that were stuck to the door. And then... That is definitely the door. What is this door? It doesn't feel like it belongs in an ancient ruin. What's going on? It's like a door from a sci-fi movie. Don't you think? It definitely doesn't fit with, the, with an ancient ruin. And what is the symbol on the door? Hmm. It looks like it's Japanese. Oh. Ah, you're totally right. Um, I'm sorry if it's just my misunderstanding. To me, it looks like it says Mirai. Or future. Future? Bastard. Hey, who cares about the symbol on the door? More importantly, how do you open it? What's inside? Hey. It looks like there's a liquid crystal display next to the door. Could the two be related? Hey. Oh, right. That must be the key to open the door. It's probably set to open when you type the password. Yes, yes. Acting all high and mighty. So what's next? It's obviously impossible to put in the password without any hints. <laughs> uh, are you saying a normal person can't open it, but a Yakuza can? That's hilarious. Shut up! Shut up. If we just type whatever, we might get it right. Uh, I think we should wait. Doesn't that seem dangerous? Huh? Hmm. What do you mean dangerous? The machine gun. Cause that thing next to the panel, doesn't it look like a gun? In fact, that's totally a gun. Gun? Huh, that's a gun. If it's... if it is, it's probably very dangerous. It's possible that you might get shot if you mess up the password, right? Yeah. Damn it. It can't be helped. Looks like it's better if we don't mess with it for now. <laughs> <laughs> He's totally freaked out. Shut the, Shut the hell up. You do it then. But still, a building that looks like an ancient ruin with a door that looks like this, it's from a sci-fi film. It's definitely unnatural. This is probably an important place. Hmm. Important place, huh? The problem is, how is it important? Um. Are you going to tell us? Hmm. I guess they're not going to tell us. Huh? You're both quiet. I'll you, up. you guys know about this building too, right? Just be honest with us. I'm sorry. No, I, I have no idea at all. I don't know either. Um, For now, everyone should focus on gathering the hope fragments. Hey, there's no way you guys don't know. Don't just show up and tell s some lousy lies. Um, 
You guys are probably the ones who covered that door with dust, right? Uh, just as I thought. You guys were hiding it on purpose, right? Hey, hey don't talk like that, like we're equals, you trashy bitch. I'm, I'm sorry. Say, say you're sorry, bitch. I, I just said it. I just said I'm sorry. Is it possible that there is a connection between this door and the reason the I, this island is unha uninhabited? For example, this place might be a shelter, and there might be natives inside. Hey. Is something happening that m would make them hide in a shelter? If so, we're all screwed. You're getting all hmm. Up. Several possibilities cross my mind. Hmm. But it looks like there's no way to confirm it yet. That door is really sturdy. But no, not in a material sense. More essential than that. Huh? huh? What are you saying? Hey, For I'm instance, even though Monami and I can come and go as we please, we can't enter what's beyond that door. Huh? You can't go inside too? Does that mean you're the same as me and... Hey, keep your in your mouth. Oof. How many times are you going to punch her? There, now that I've shut up my sister with a fantastic Pegasus meteor fist. This is a myster mystery of Jabberwock Island, a mystery that even Monami and I can't solve. That's why I have high expectations for you guys. One day, you'll be able to solve that mystery. Huh. That seems easy enough. All we gotta do is remember what that black and white tanuki said before. Hey, why are there 16 of you? If a total of 15 students from the Hope's Peak Academy were arranged to come to this island. That's right, there's probably a traitor I don't even know about hiding among the group. Just kidding. I know. There's a traitor among us. That's what that ugly tanuki said before. Fine, fine. Ah ha ha. Calling me ugly in a tanuki. Those kind of, kinds of silly names don't depress me in the slightest. He's totally depressed. If there's a traitor, there's probably they probably know how to open that door right. And there's probably boats or a way to contact the other outside world beyond that door. Or maybe whoever's controlling Monokuma and Monami are, is hiding in there. But do you really think there's a traitor among us? No of course there is. Who the hell is it? Hurry up and confess. There isn't... there is no traitor anywhere. Hey, Monokuma, what about you? You're the one who mentioned it. <laughs> What's so funny? Hey, hey. Oh, just... have you guys heard of an organization called World Ender? World Ender? I'm the one asking you a question. Don't just change the subject. I understand why you do want to just ignore it. World Ender is such an embarrassing name. So embarrassing that only middle school students, no wait, elementary students would come up with it. But the name is unavoidable because that organization actually exists. So what is this organization? It's literally what it says. The, those guys ended the world. Ended the world? That's not an overstatement. Or a metaphor, you know. Those guys really did end the world. So don't you think it's inappropriate? It's a appropriate to call the world them world ender. So you mean they're a tor terrorist organization? Hmm. Terrorist, huh? That might be accurate. But only losers are terrorists. If they manage to win, they become heroes. Dang. In that sense, they're more like heroes. They're the heroes who ended the world. What's going on? So, what? Don't say things that don't make any sense. Don't tell me you're going to say this organization is the one putting us through all this crap. World Ender, are you saying that 
You are, you and Monami are also members of that organization. Who knows? Who knows? That the only thing I can tell you is the organization that the traitor is working for, the one who brought you to this island. World High Under is behind it all. Why are we being targeted by a horrifying organization like that? Don't panic. It's just another made-up story to trick us like when he said we lost our school memories. I can't suspend my belief for something as ridiculous as World Ender. There's no way that organization or the traitor exists. Stay back. Monokuma, I shall listen to you spout nonsense all you want while I puff cigar smoke at your lifeless body. My, my. I was kind enough to keep you guys informed. Are you calling me a liar? Yeah. If you keep acting like that, I'll do this and that to your various body parts. Silence. Anyway, I'm telling the truth. The World Ender Organization is the final boss of this island. Plus, one of their members is hiding among you guys. That's why you guys gotta find the traitor and kill them dead. Hey, hey you better stop. Shut up, Monami. Big brother defying trash like you needs to be punished. No, no don't pull my ears. They're gonna come off. <laughs> Monokuma and Monami departed from the area, leaving the rest of us dazed and confused. What was that just now? What's going on? Is there anybody who, el uh, who understands what he was talking about? Um, Not a clue. Yeah. Hey, hey. For now, since the sun is setting... We should just go home for the day. I think it's a waste of time for us to keep thinking about this. You're probably right. Hey. But isn't it's getting dark soon, so going home might be a better idea. Let's just call it a day. Hmm. As after exploring the new island, all we uncovered are more mysteries. As we lowered our heads and bemoaned that reality... We began heading back to our cottages. Hmm. I got two of them already. I missed one, apparently. I'm dead tired from walking around all day. Jeez. I don't know what the hell is going on, but it's starting to make my head hurt. Ancient ruins, strange doors, traitors, and world ender? I have no idea what's going on anymore, and I don't f even feel anxious about it. I guess I should go to sleep for now. With that, I laid my exhausted body onto the bed and closed my eyes. But jeez, yeah, that definitely looks like the first game location. I'm guessing that's where our five uh, protagonists got out from. It would make sense. My well, least favorite food is definite. My le my least favorite food is definitely crab. I also don't like shrimp, apples, tomatoes, and seasoned trout eggs. I don't like red foods at all. Red foods are red because they have crab inside of them. It's actually a conspiracy by the crab industry to try and make me overcome my disgust. There's no way I fall for that. I will never ever eat red foods. You see, our society is filled with various hidden conspiracies that are closer than you think. Theater. Make sure you guys are be careful too. Hmm. Ding dong bing bong. And with that, we'll listen to this last uh, announcement and we'll get ready for the uh, to end this one off. Good morning. <laughs> Yep, we're still in daily life, so, uh, yeah, that would make sense. Okay. Morning already, huh? It feels like morning came so quickly, like night got skipped or something. That explains why I feel so tired. But I'm hungry, so I should just go to the restaurant and eat something. But we'll do that in the next one. So, thank you all for watching. Keep being spooky. And I will see you all in the next one. Peace out.
Hey guys and girls, I just want to say thank you for watching today's video. If you liked everything you saw today, please leave a like and maybe even subscribe and hit the bell notification. If you want to see more, thank you all for watching and peace out.